Hey guys, what's up? It's your friendly neighborhood. We can see you're back again with another Enter the Gungeon video. Uh, we have not played the Marine yet, I believe, but we have played the other three, so it's basically time to play Marine. Should be not too bad. I do find the Marine kind of easy. Um, if I had to rank him compared to uh, all the other characters as far as like new player accessibility is concerned or ease of early wins, however you want to, you know, articulate that. He's probably second next to Hunter. Um, and the reason that I say that is because his initial weapon is very good. The accuracy that it has is incredible. Uh, and then what are, what are you even... Oh yeah, and then he has the ammo drop as that. What's his... That's just accuracy. Does he have anything else? Hang on. No. Uh, which is fine. So he has the the very good pistol. Probably one of the best starting pistols. Starting weapons, I guess. Um, then supply drop. It literally, you just get ammo when you use your space bar. Uh, recharges relatively quickly as well. It's pretty nice. And then the uh, higher accuracy with just about everything. It's pretty good. Pretty nice. I gotta say, though, <laughs> these first couple rooms have not been, you know, the speediest of rooms. Which is fine. Oh yeah, and then he also starts with an armor, which is cool. Cool. First couple rooms, there's really not much to say, you know? I mean, most of these enemies, especially by episode 3, you guys- or episode 4, rather. Uh, you guys have already seen all this, so... Nothing- nothing new, nothing interesting to talk about. Just gotta give it the good old aim and shoot. It's not jump and shoot, man. Aim and shoot, man. Which also describes just about all shooter type games. Ooh, okay. Unfortunately, we did not hit a checkpoint nearby here. I could just go for the boss right away. Um, I do want to increase the likelihood that I will get the master round, though, so I would like to at least get another gun. Even if it's not super good, it'll almost certainly be better than the starting weapon. Um, even if I do have to use starting weapon, it might not be too terrible anyway. Again, first boss tends to be pretty straightforward. Where are you? I don't remember. I think that's one of the supply drop enemies. I don't quite remember what it does. Wow. I Have I ever seen this? I don't know if I've ever seen this. Just a straight up empty room. That's weird. Got our first chest here. It's a green. Yeah, I'll just open it right away. The hazmat suit. Sure. Again, I believe this just makes you immune to poison. It might... Oh, you know what? It might just straight up be immune to ground effects. I think that might be it. Because if it was just immune to poison, it'd be pretty weak. Um, but there are at least... Well, I can think of at least two other ground effects. Which, still, even if it was all ground effects, it would still not be that good. But it might be something else. I might just be misremembering or something. Hello, sir. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Lil Bomber. Um, I will happily take this key, however. And then the other, the space bar item there is the ice bomb. Alright, so I'm probably opening this chest no matter what. It is going to be a weapon. And even a brown tier weapon can be very good. It's a green tier. No mimic? No mimic? Alright, cool. Oh, this one. It's pretty good, right? Shock rifle. It's pretty good at uh, boss killing early game. So, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Let's, let's give it a shot. Who do we got? Gatling Gull again. He just, he, he doesn't want to leave, dude. So I believe this gun is decent damage. Good fire rate, very good accuracy. I believe that is 
what I recall about this weapon. And then the reload is obviously not quite ideal, but it's fine. Wow, I just almost hit myself with an explosion. Keep circling, keep circling. I think there might be a trick to this weapon, but if there is, I don't remember it. Let's just pop a blank, play it safe. I'll pop a second blank just because um, the big ball will split into a bunch of little ones and then I'll have crossfire. So I just want to play it safe and uh, not run the risk of getting messed up. Ooh, I haven't seen this in a long time. It shoot. It makes like a funk noise. That's not quite the noise I recall, but yes, mahogany. <laughs> but like mahogany, because <laughs> this game is incredible. Uh, is there anything else I want here? Nah. Feel feel pretty good about this. I think I'm even gonna call in a supply drop right away. Oh, you know what? Actually, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use the the whatever zabby. Zappa de Duha shot. Yeah, that's one. Shock rifle. I'm gonna use this a little bit until it's pretty much out of ammo, and then I'm gonna call in a supply drop. That's what I'm gonna do. Ooh. Ooh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, we need seven more. Lichy Trigger Finger is so good. It is unreal, dude. It might not be like the toppest tier, but it's a passive item that increases your rate of fire. Very, very potentially powerful. I tend to always take it. Like, if I have the opportunity to grab it, I grab it. I'm being hesitant because I know... Yeah. Yeah, I knew, I knew what spawned, by the way. <laughs> That's why I was being so careful. Because I knew what the spawn was. Alright, Litchy Trigger Finger. There we go. There you go, bud. Alright, and that's what I thought it would be. And I guess we'll explore this room. It should just be a simple connecting room. Nothing more. And by that I mean an additional room that directly connects. With, like, nothing attached. Not like, oh, it's a hallway. Hallways and, and connecting rooms, I guess I could... Considered different. All right, we're getting to that point. Yeah, we'll just call in the supply drop now. That's gonna be fine. There you go. Um, and now I will conserve ammo a little bit. And swap back to the sidearm. You know what? <laughs> let's let's clean these guys up. Well, I'm glad I at least used a little bit, so it wasn't super inefficient for that uh, extra ammo. Oh yeah, it's not reusable, the supply drop. Wait, did it used to be reusable? I thought it used to be reusable. Weird. I could just have terrible memory. <laughs> That's very likely the case. Well, in that case, oops, I guess I have used up my spacebar item. So for, I guess I either forgot it was a one-time use or it was changed, but I think... The forgetting is quite a bit more likely. Alright, let's see. Yeah, hazmat suit is immune to all ground effects. That's good. <clears throat> I'm glad I've uh, discovered that and I don't need to panic in the middle of battle later. And be like, oh god, this work, it does not work. Are you not dead? Thank you. Jesus. Oh, you rat fuck. I actually can't believe that. Although, in fairness, I guess thanks. <laughs> thank, thank you for your service. <laughs> I was not going to blank this room, so uh, I appreciate that. Oh, and that would have taken so long to find, too. Okay. What the fuck are you? It's like a balloon gun. <laughs> okay. <gasps> I can fly! Oh, that's great. Let me just make sure that I can indeed fly. Yeah, okay. But it's only... Yeah, it's only with it equipped. And what is it? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they almost... It's almost perfect the way it captures the squeaking of making... Like, messing with these balloons. Listen. 
It's not quite squeaky enough. It's close though. It's very close. If you've ever attempted to make a balloon animal, you know the squeak, dude. You know what I'm talking about. It is a, it is a piercing squeak. All right, let's see actually how. Oh fuck me. Uh, uh, um. I don't understand. So I guess getting hit with it makes it go to no ammo. Yikes! <laughs> That's some fucking yikes shit, dude. Oh, good job, me. Good fucking good going. That's why I hate this guy. It's like, even after you have him dead, you still have to actually pay attention. And that's true of at least several enemies, but he's probably the worst. So I am gonna—I am intending to refill it because I would like to get the uh, the final thing, gun piece. We got some time at least before uh, it'll become an issue. Uh, there's really nothing else here except potentially buying like a another guan stone or the crossbow or whatever. I'm not opposed to buying a Guan Stone. It's only 12. It's not too bad, and I think I will also buy a key. And then we'll fight this boss and use the Mahogany, because the Mahogany is actually very, very good. It's not an incredible boss ki- Oh, okay. It's not like a super incredible boss killer, but it's good. It's good at boss killing. Um, and it's an overall just kind of like- it, it's a- it's a strong gun, right? It's not like this thing is the toppest of tier or anything, but- And it does have explosions. Um, we also have three blanks that I need to remind myself to actually use. Because we've already found the secret room. So there's basically the only reason to not use blanks here. Yeah, perfect blank time. The only reason to not use blanks in this instance would basically be uh, if I'm trying to prove a point that I'm better than the Anaconda. But fuck, I know that's not true. <laughs> Kidding me, dude? Woo! That was some good dodging. Just play it safe, you know? Made it made it this far. Oh, I lost track of him. I lost track of him. Oh thank god! We actually got a mess around on Amoconda. I mean, I'm actually blown away. Holy <laughs> shit. Alright. Uh, Frost Amulet is okay as well. I, you also don't need to pick up hegemony credits. I just do it out of habit sometimes. Woo! And that's the floor, huh? Okay, wow. Woo! The nice thing about Mahogany is that it's it, it has such a large spread. It shoots out a bunch of leaves and then the main... Uh, I don't know, it's, it's not an acorn, what is it? It's like a pine cone. Um, and they all do damage, right? So, like, you don't have to be super accurate for it to uh, actually work out quite nicely. Yikes. Ooh, yikes. Ooh, yikes. Yeah, okay, that's, that's just, I mean, what am I going to do in this instance, you know? It's a really bad layout with some bad luck. Run Ooh, I clicked out of the screen. My apologies. Let me make sure that didn't mess up any capturing. No, it looks good. Yo, oh, fuck you. Alright. <clears throat> That's a really bad layout. I probably, I mean, I definitely, if I had seen that layout before. Um, to be fair, that's one of the new layouts from uh, Supply Drop. By the way, whenever I say new and then Supply Drop, or just generally new, um, that means, so there was an update, which I, I briefly already described, right? But there's an update called Supply Drop. It happened quite a while ago at this point, but uh, most of my gameplay in this game was before that, so... So a lot of it is uh, indeed new to me. There was no way to not get hit, dude. Talk about fucking bad layouts. 
Christ. This is another new one, actually. This is another supply drop layout. Yuck. It's actually so gross. <laughs> Those layouts are so gross. Very difficult to not get hit in. Obviously, if I had seen the layouts before, it would be a lot easier for me to not get hit, but having not ever seen them is like... Not a death sentence, but like... It's a hit sentence, you know? <laughs> Not a mimic. Uh, what are you again? Is this just like grenade launcher? Oh, blooper, blooper! Oh yeah, shotgun, enormous knockback. Very, very high knockback. Can be useful sometimes. It's also like a decent clear weapon. The damage is quite low though. Unless they buffed it, which is possible. Because it was quite weak. Nice room, thank you. <laughs> You know, after complaining about layouts a couple times, feels nice to get gifted one. So, I could have probably rolled. Um, I didn't want to take the chance, though. It, it was a weird spot to be in, so I just wanted to play it like a safe. And also, we got, we got the extra um, blank anyway. Because of our amulet. Yuck. Woo! <laughs> Yikes! Okay. Alright, okay. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Spooky layout. We're good, though. Made it through without uh, getting any money at all. So, fuck you, game. I would have liked some money. Yeah, C4 technically would be not too bad. We could sell some guns as well. I'm not a fan of C4 generally. We are we we don't have a space bar though. All right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna blooper. Boop. Boop. Oh, come on. Get get to the spot I can boop you. Thanks. Woo. Okay, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought. Yeah, okay, maybe the damage is actually decent. I could, again, either be misremembering or uh, it could just be that they buffed it, you know? <sighs> nice, nice lead on that shot. The knockback is still incredible, though, as previously stated. That's a good key pickup. Alright, let's go back to the other sidearm. I intend for my next ammo box to go to um, a balloon animal, so I can actually, like, you know. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Okay. <laughs> I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. There we go. Alright, clean it up. I have, uh, I have resolved the situation. Fuck me. <laughs> I literally do all of that while actively fighting enemies. And then the moment I kill every enemy, it's just like, yeah, just... not get hit now. I mean... Ow. That was just dumb. I was trying too hard to just walk the dodge. There's two sets of bullets crossing paths, so yeah, it's just a, a mistake is all it was. Wow, okay, I should not have gotten hit by that. I was absolutely 100% still rolling. That one, I 100% deserved to get hit by because I didn't fucking do anything. Sometimes I do feel a little bit cheated on some hits, but... I, I'm well aware that, like, you know, it is a get good issue, is the thing. Um, but even if it is a get good issue, like, 
There's this there's this subset of get good where it's just like Sure, if I was better it would work, but also or I if I was better it wouldn't have happened in the bad way, right? But also it probably is a little bit unforgiving, right? Like it's the sort of situation where it's like I was clearly in the in the roll animation when the bullet hit me. Great, it's wax wings. So we don't actually need to refill the balloon animal, or the balloon gun, whatever it's called. Wow, there's no uh, checkpoints. We already have the flight, which is great. It's quite lucky. Normally, wax wings is in the shop and very expensive. I think we had that in the last run as well. Okay. Uh, maybe I buy some health theroni. I think so. I think that's fine. I, you know what? I might even just sell this balloon gun. Uh, it's cute and all, but let's see how much I can get from it. I was about to say, I dropped it and it, it fucking exploded. Uh, <laughs> but no. Well, I mean, yes, I think it did, but I think he also gave me money. I'm not, I'm not sure what just happened there. Okay, cool. This is the first time that you guys have seen this. Um, I don't remember his name. Treadnought. There it is. Not too bad. This boss is, is a very unique one, though. So, you got these, like, pillars and sh shit, um, which is pretty cool, because they can get blowed up. So, it can make this fight, like, it goes from, like, medium difficulty to pretty fucking high difficulty at times. In general, though, this fight's not too bad. There is, as you can see, though, a very large uh, range of attacks that he has. Whew. Oh, did you guys see that one bullet that was steering straight at me, dude? It wanted me. It wanted me so bad. So the main attacks that you can clearly see, like, he basically, right, he, he's got basic uh, rapid attacking just going on throughout the entire fight. Uh, he shoots a bunch of different, like, very specific rounds, uh, one of which being the mobs that are spawning. But honestly, not too bad of a fight. It, it's definitely one of the easier fights for this floor. Um, if not the easiest, actually. Who, who all are the bosses for this floor? Deagle's pretty good. I think it's a charge, right? Yeah. Oh, right. Isn't it single shot and if you charge, it's full clip? No, it's actually just charge. Okay, so actually Deagle's crazy good then. If my memory uh, serves me well. I will check a couple spots uh, for secret rooms. Shouldn't be too difficult. I'm not gonna go like all out, you know. It's not that one. I might go all out. <laughs> we have exactly one blank. Like, I... It's not like I lose much by, you know, going for this. Except for, of course, it takes time, right? But what is time? Hey, Vsauce, Michael here. <clears throat> we often say, I don't have time for that. But what really is time for that? Uh, let's... Key? Sure. You know what? I'm a fan of getting a lot of keys. Bonus keys are pretty alright by, by my standards. So yeah, unless I'm mistaken, Deagle is decent. It's not incredible. Uh, it's not a heroin or a, a mega hand, but it's in the same sort of category where it's a charge and it can one-shot a decent amount of things. Not everything, obviously. In fact... <laughs> Way less than Deagle or Heroin, but that's not to say it's terrible, although eh, it's pretty bad. I'll use it for a bit. I'll, I'll try and reassess. It does charge pretty quick, at least. That is one upside. And I guess the, the uncharged shots also look pretty decent. Obviously, choose through ammo if you go uncharged, but...
Hmm. Yeah, maybe it sucks ass. <laughs> it's very possible that it just sucks a big old fat one. I need I need a real gun for this. Okay, <laughs> probably just refuel the mahogany. It's like only halfway done. That's fine. It'll probably run out uh, before our shock rifle anyway. So gun muncher is probably not what I want here. I got pretty decent guns, like, I don't really want to give them any of them up. Not yet, at least. Um, if I get something nuts, like, if I pick up a Mega Hand and or a Sling on this floor, like, yeah, I might gun munch some stuff. Cool. So there's the replacement arm. And then we'll be sending it up to the third floor. When we find it in the third floor, we'll send it up to the second floor. Repeat. Right, okay. I was just double checking that he actually could steal those shots. I thought he could. Uh, I wasn't sure though. I don't like where the Grim Reaper's at. If you could, if you could, don't. That'd be wonderful. Oh, okay. So I, I thought I didn't kill the wizard, but as it turns out, I did indeed kill the wizard. I thought he teleported away at the last moment. Double check that it's not a mimic. Easy peasy. Uh, flame hand, I think? Yeah. Not good. <laughs> In fact, most would argue quite awful, really. Again, unless it's buffed. Um, but, it... Oh, interesting. Does it, is it variable now? Like, does it actually have variable power level now or something? Did it always have that? <laughs> Am I confusing it? There is another gun that shoots fireballs very similar. Um, it's like the pitchfork or something. I may be confusing it. But I thought flame hand sucks. In fact, it still feels like it sucks. Let's just use the good old marine sidearm. Okay, I'm a little confused. Shoot at the eyes! Shoot at the eyes! I kind of like these rooms. They're, they're very cute. Um, I feel like I only got hit one time in these. Because I, I vividly remember actually getting hit one time in these. Uh, and I'd be shocked if it had happened greater than once. Stop leaving those shots, dude. I don't, I don't fucking like it. Interestingly enough, as well, we actually uh, have effectively blanked hazmat suit because of the wax wings. Because we can't be affected by ground effects anyway. While oh, we're flying. Ooh, yikes. Alright. Yeah, this room can be a uh, nightmare at times. Get him out of there. Just reduce the amount of potential bullets that I need to dodge, and it should be not, not too bad. Nice. An extra armor and a gold casing? Hell yeah, dude. Gold casing is worth a hell of a lot, by the way. It's just a, a large amount of currency. That's all it is. Any casing is just an amount of currency relative to, you know, what it is. Let me just real quick, like... Thank you. I could have blooped these guys away, actually. That was probably the play. Oh, fuck. I didn't realize killing the wizard would spawn extra enemies. It's been a while since I've seen this layout. This is not a new one, though. There, There is no reason for me not to have known what it is. I also don't really understand what's going on with those. These little goldy things? I don't know what they are. I mean, I'm sure they're just decoration. I've just literally never seen them before. 
Oh, I have one shot. Uh, so what are we gonna use as a backup? Probably the mahogany. Mahogany is, like I said, just a generally good gun. Actually, am I gonna go up this way first? Yeah, I think so. Because that's uh, the, it's probably both item rooms are just next to each other. So it looks like based on the map here, at least. for a bit. Nice. Got him with the ricochet. Yeah, the mahogany is like pretty decent power per ammo, and it has a ton of ammo. It's a very good gun, like I have been saying multiple times. I just want to keep reiterating, because like, it is just really good. Um, and it does have the explosion... explosion? <laughs> uh, attached. It's not... The explosion's not super relevant, because it's quite small, um, and you can't aim it super well. So, it, it's not the sort of, like, controllable explosion that's really good. It's still fine, though. Like, it it still counts as an explosion. Dose. Uh, oh, this is the other one, Flame Hand, right? So this should be item. Uh, whatever. Yeah, the Shotgun Cola. There we go. <laughs> I was trying to remember what it was fucking called. It was something Cola. Start with an SH. Shotgun, that, that makes sense. Sounds about right. Might sound right because, well, it, I mean, it is right. How did I get out of that one? I was about to blank and then I was like, nah, I'm already hit. Why would I blank? And as it turns out, not only did I not blank, but I also didn't get fucking hit. That's incredible. I also forgot I could fly. I don't know why I wasn't going over that gap. Okay, mailbox and um, Void Marshal. Void Marshal's good. Not incredible, but good. Oh, hey, whatever your name is. So, uh,. She sells pretty good stuff. She, she sells cursed items. Um, cursed items are very interesting, to say the least. Anyway, we got the thing. There it is. Planar lead, astral slug. Uh, we don't need to run back because there's this thing called fast traveling. Where the fuck? There it is. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to buy Void Marshal. It's very expensive. Where's the boss? I don't remember how good it is. If I remembered... Hey, Iguan Stones. Yeah, yeah. Give me them. If I remember how good it was, I would probably snap it up. Or 98. I actually can't afford it. Wait. Didn't it say 92? Am I losing it? I'm probably losing it. Alright, anyway. Let's just fight the boss. Uh, I, I mean, I can't afford... Void, I can't afford Void Marshal anyway. So let us fight the boss. Wallmonger is probably not going to be so good. So, here's here's my strat for Wallmonger, right? Chill on one side. Actually, I can chill in the middle uh, because of Waxwings and Hazmat. Both allow me. Both afford me the same opportunity. Alright, let's swap to... Yeah, we're going to blank that. Let's swap to Mahogany, make this a little easier. Not significantly so, but every now and then an explosion will help out. I don't like that attack at all. <laughs> but my general strategy for Wallmonger is basically just chill on one side um, and dodge, you know, every so often. These glass wand stones are fucking doing work, dude. They're putting in overtime on this fight. So I'm rolling backward, um, which is. Probably not good. Oh my god, I actually messed around at that. Holy fuck, that was close. We got the Frost Giant. That's actually a pretty good gun, too. Whew. Uh, quick draw. Sure. Alright, uh, back to here. Do I buy the Void Marshal? Do I buy a Guan Stone? Can't afford both. Mailbox is pretty bad, um, so we're not buying that. If I take Guan Stone, I could also, also take a key... 
Yeah, I'm gonna keep my spending kind of low. Um, with basically my goal here is uh, by keeping my spending low is that I can actually afford some sweet on the next floor. So far so good though. This run is is clean. Have I gotten every master round so far? One, two, three, four. All right, let's not fuck it up now, huh? <laughs> Especially not on the dragon. Dragon is almost certainly easier to to perfect than um, Wallmonger. But I've already fucked it up once, so twice maybe. I think once, right? I got I got the master on two times on the dragon, right? No, actually only once, right? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Somebody will know. Worth noting, by the way. Um, I'm still recording this video. This is before uh, even the first video of the series is going up. So, if there's been any feedback or anything yet, whoops. I haven't been able to read it because uh, hasn't happened yet in my world. <laughs> But that's okay. Uh, I think this will be the last, the last uh, initial logged episode. Oh yeah, now I remember what Quick Draw does. When you reload, it fires out a shot. Totally, totally forgot before what that did. But yeah, that's actually really good. Um, quick Draw can incentivize you. Does it actually take ammo to? No, it's free. Yeah, so it can incentivize you um, to do very specific shit to effectively double your ammo. It's not like the greatest incentive of all time. Whoops! Just double check that it didn't summon. Cool. It's not the greatest incentive of all time. Like, doubling your ammo sounds really good, but it's very awkward and, and sometimes quite um, just bad. <laughs> Uh, it works best on things that are single shot, something like Stinger, RPG, that sort of thing. That's where Quick Draw really shines. There's, um, ooh, yeah, no, we'll just keep it going. Uh, <clears throat> there's another thing that does kind of similar, so whenever you roll, it'll instant reload. So you can, how? <laughs> I'm pissed. I'm genuinely pissed for that shot hitting me. Should I be? Probably not. It was probably just the dumbest hit to ever take, and I walked right into it, but I'm still pissed. I can't stop my emotions, you know? <clears throat> I do my fucking damnedest to try, though. Um, yeah, so if you use whatever that other thing is, which I can't recall the name of... <laughs> what the fuck are you? The AU gun. Alternate universe. Oh, is this just the golden gun? Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Okay. That's... That... Yes. Correct. Um, it's not literally golden gun. Uh, it doesn't one-shot everything. As in, it doesn't one-shot bosses. What a... What a damn shame. But, I believe the damage it deals is absurd. Uh, so hopefully we can use that to carry us on the dragon. We'll see, though. We will see. Oh, fuck. So this is always a weird room, uh, because of these little poundy things. I hate... I hate this part. Honestly. Where they all get fucking set on fire by walking through the little poundy things and then they're just sprinting. Sprinting around at fucking speed of sound! Thank god. This is what a golden skeleton fight looks like, by the way. Most of the golden skeletons I've had to deal with have been uh, summoned by wizards, so I've just killed the wizard and then crushed the skull. It's not that bad of a fight, to be fair. Alright, so we got Hammer Room. I probably don't need to deal with it. It's very late. Um, even if I do have to deal with it, though, it shouldn't be too bad because of Wax Wings. It'll, it'll give me a lot of freedom 
in the way I move through the room. That'll make it a hell of a lot easier. fucking knew I was gonna get hit by one dude. It was only a matter of time before three enemies in three drastically different locations in the room would get to me. Damn. That felt pretty bad if you got hit there. I, I had it under control so well, too. At least I thought I had it under control well. I was hoping that was the last shot, dude. I was so ready for it. Wow, he was he was very close. Alright, cool. So you can skip the hammer room. Easy enough. Hopefully we find the shop pretty soon. Now, here's a question that I have that will be answered well before the video uh, is over on my end. So you probably don't need to say it in the comments. But can I fight my past on the run that I get the final piece of the bullet? Because I have the final piece of the bullet on this run, so, I mean, we'll find out, right? So why do we have jammed enemies? Are we... am I cursed, or is this just like the worst luck in history? I could very well be cursed. Um, is Waxwings cursed? It actually might be. You know what? I think Waxwings is cursed. Woo, that was almost a hit on me. Yeah, I think Waxwings is cursed, right? I know that I've seen it in What's-Her-Face's shop a bunch, too. But I don't know if she only sells items that come with curse themselves, or if it's like buying from her curses, or... I, I don't fully remember. I know she does have a lot of cursed things, though. If not all. I believe you do get cursed from buying literally anything from her. I don't think just interacting with her, though, to unlock her counts as getting cursed, but again, I don't fully know everything. I only know, like, a decent amount. I would like to find the other item. Oh, okay, thank you. <laughs> How kind of you. Uh, yeah, isn't this my roll deals more damage? It's pretty good, right? Obviously, it requires me to roll into stuff, but at, also, at worst, it's just I got an armor, right? Like, I think I got an armor is a pretty decent pickup anyway. Whew. Come on. So yeah, this is one of the few downsides of Mahogany is that you don't really have a lot of accuracy with it, right? It's just this large spread, so it can cause a lot of issues. Ooh. Oh, you rat fuck. You rat fuck. I'm actually pissed. I got shoved to a really unfortunate location that I really didn't have any control over. Oh well. Shouldn't matter too much. As long as it's not on the boss, I can still get the mass around, so I'm not too concerned. Hey, it's the shop. Bullet idle. Hey, we have enough for it. Hey, here you go. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah. So we can totally do it on this run. Cool. Um, the Emperor is also very good, but I don't believe we're going to be able to get the money for it before the boss. Yeah, no. Oh, hey! This is the other one. Pitchfork, yeah. Um, wow! I don't think we can steal from this shopkeeper. Not this one, but this one. Um, but you can use charm horn, charm horn. It feels like there should be a charmed, right? Like there should be a D in there. I, I don't believe you can use it on this shopkeep. You can use it on the normal one, though. I think it's just gonna be bullet idle. I don't even fully remember what it does. I think it's very good though. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. So time to use the AU gun and try and get a mass around on the dragon and then go kill my pass. So 
So with the quick draw, this is obviously insane because we literally get double the shots. This is the precise thing that I was talking about. Uh, do I have a better gun now? Now that the AU gun is out. So yeah, by the way, Charmhorn is... Like I said, there's a couple uses for Charmhorn. Um, uh, oh my god, how did I... I, I can't even, I refuse to believe that I got out of that. Is this going to be better? It probably is. I'm saving my blanks for no fucking reason, though. <laughs> there's like one single attack that I'm... This one. That I'm vaguely concerned with. Woo! Oh yeah, wax wings! Ah! <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> Alright, well, made it through that. Uh, now I'm trying to think about what exactly I, uh,. Never ever dodge like that. Never. What the fuck? Okay, I'm actually tilted. We actually didn't get hit in the hardest fucking part of this fight over and over and over. And then literally the very first easy phase, freebie phase, I get hit by one stray fucking bullet and I'm... Yes. I think this is actually our best dragon killer. Wow, I'm actually so pissed. Oh, you have extra blanks, so I may as well use them just so you can see what that looks like on this fight. It's not very good, right? It, it clears out just an incredibly small amount of space. Which would have, uh, of course, stopped me from taking a hit, but pff, whatever. Don't worry about me. I'm not upset. I think that's even an achievement. I don't know if I have it. The getting every mass around. Because this is the last fight where you can get the mass around. Oh well. Whatever. We're gonna kill our past. I don't give a shit. It was nearly a perfect run. Let's go kill our past. This is pretty cool, by the way. You, you guys will see uh, how cool killing the past is. And I'm glad I could get it done in the first rotation of characters. A lot of luck was, of course, involved, but still. <clears throat> so all that this requires is you have the uh, the bullet when you shoot yourself with this gun, and then you'll uh, begin the event. I think isn't this one? I start out with a hegemony rifle, and I end. Do I have to kill like a mob boss? No, that's the prisoners, right? Prisoner kills. I don't know. We'll see. I definitely start off with a hegemony rifle. Um, at least I believe that's the case. I'm fairly certain hegemony rifles in here. Do I have to kill like a robot or something? Anyway, uh, the past seven years prior. Yeah, there is the hegemony rifle, as predicted. Hello, sir. <laughs> Didn't expect to see you again. Something went wrong during the test. Something came out of the opening. Ah, yeah, aliens. The escape pods are just down the hall. Save yourself. You're good at that. No, I'm fucking heading to the lab, dude. Can you? What are you doing down here? You right, dude? What's good? Ah, yes. By the way, all of these past things- Abyssal Fiend Interdimensional Whore! All these past things are, um, thick on the references to other shit. Yeah, I still hate that attack. Now, now that I uh, am doing this, I remember that I hate that one. In fact, I think I might have considered this one the hardest, <laughs> which is pretty unfortunate that this is the one where we- this is the character that we, uh, set us ourselves up for. I do still have two blanks, so I, I do need to be cognizant of that fact. I'm not really sure what just hit me. Ah, now I, now I know why. It was poison. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do know it was poison. Yeah, we're very easily fucked here. Um, it's, it's very likely that I'm just kinda owned here. 
Yeah, I do, I do seem to recall that I didn't like this one at all. <laughs> that this was probably the hardest one. We'll see, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's that. Okay. But, like, it also doesn't really look distinctly different anyway. So I'm a little pissed still. so fucked. <laughs> Damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm pissed. I wonder if it's possible to run out of ammo in this fight. I mean, I'm sure it is it's possible. I just wonder what happens. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not panicking. Oh my god, what the fuck, I actually did it! Holy shit! Alright, thank god I clutched that, Jesus Christ. That might have been the closest call I've ever even imagined. That was insane! Holy fuck. I got some adrenaline, dude, I got some adrenaline. But you saw we unlocked some stuff. Um, let me show you all that we unlocked. First of all, we unlocked military training, which is the starting item for uh, the Marine. And that now means that other characters can actually find that item in the dungeon, which is cool. Uh, beyond that, we got the whatever that other one was called. Something heart, something wings, or whatever. We'll see it in a second here. Alpha bullet, Omega bullets, military training, Galactic Medal of Valor. That's the one. I believe that does more damage. It might be specific to bosses. Uh, the extra damage that it receives. Um, but what's also cool is once you kill their past, you get this alt costume, which uh, <laughs> is pretty cute. It's a cute little costume. Um, but there you go. I mean, we got the we got the bullet. We got a bunch of credits. We killed the past on the first try. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Uh, I guess we will grab angry bullets. And I would love to grab plus one bullets, but I can't afford it. I'll just buy the lunch box. That's fine. That was a pretty productive episode. This has been a pretty productive series so far. I'm, I'm impressed with myself being able to keep it together so long. It's crazy. There's the angry bullets. Angry bullets is more damage as well. Um, there's still so much to unlock though. Like there's, there's infinite shit to fucking unlock here, dude, you know? But we now have gotten every single mass round at least once. Um, there are also shortcuts to unlock, which will, I believe that is how it, you unlock the boss rush mode. I don't like the shortcuts though. <laughs> uh, I don't like getting them because they're awful. They have stupid requirements. They all require uh, a master round, I think. Yeah, they all require a master round as well as some absurd other shit, uh, like some obscene amount of money. I think the last shortcut takes like 200 shells or something retarded. Like, I, I don't remember fully, but I do remember the unlock requirements being really stupid. Uh, and I hated it, and I also never used the shortcuts. The shortcuts, by the way, are over here. And unless you jump to a specific floor in the gungeon, and I'm just like, why would I do that? <laughs> right? Like, what? Well, why would I do that? But, uh, anyway, that is that. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, do all the good shit, and I'll see you guys back for the next video whenever. If you're here for the Slay the Spire series, that should be tomorrow. And if you're here for more gungeon, that'll be in two days. So, uh, yeah, keep, keep on the lookout for that, and I'll see you guys later.